So let's check in with Stephanie Stanovich, who's downtown right now, talking to some of those artists. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Karina. Yes, we are still hanging here at the Arts Festival, and I'm with two other artists. We have Kevin and we have Brian. Um, so tell me a little bit about what's going on in this tent here. Okay. Um, Brian Bosworth and I have been here demonstrating throwing large vessels on the potter's wheel. Uh, the particular piece that I'm working on right now, I have done a skyline uh, to be representative of the downtown skyline here of Columbus and trying to share what I like to do and stuff from the city. So you guys have all of this. How, what is this made out of? What takes, I mean, how much goes into making this? Okay, uh, this is made from a type of stonework clay. It was made in three sections. The first piece was made approximately to the right here. The next piece was made up to the upper roll part, and then the upper uh, last part was made and attached. And then the texture was put on the piece then after. How long does it take you to make something like this? Because I know you have some smaller ones back here. Uh, the smaller pieces take sometimes uh, 15 minutes to a half an hour. A large piece like this will take several hours. So like with this, I probably have about five or six hours in this piece. Wow, that's, so. that's awesome. And I mean, how, you said you kind of, you teach students, right? Yes. You, uh, you both do, yes. right? Uh, I, okay. I teach at Wilson High School. I've been there for 22 years. Uh, I've been to the point where I've, I've caught, taught some at the college level. Um, and currently I'm gonna be teaching some for Palm State. Wow, that's awesome. And now what are you doing? Because oh. they're going to have me do some projects here, so I they trust me with this. So what are you working well, on? Well, I've got a piece of clay already centered on the wheel and opened up so that you can move the clay around oh, right. into whatever you want to make it into. Um, but I've got some plates that I've been working on for the last couple of days. Okay. And the base as well. So which one do we want to try yeah. first? Yeah. Want to work on this? Okay, yeah, so... So you start from the center and just work your way up off right here? the yes, just all the way out onto the piece. And now this yeah. is this like paper mache or is it? Uh, this is basically a paper stencil that I've created for the, the building outline, so that when this is actually peeled back off, okay. it will reveal the, the building shapes like what it been on the lower part. Okay, now let's try this. Let's let's try this. What do I do? All right, so you put your hands on the side of the clay. Oh, dip them in there first. Dip them in there. Yep. Okay. And then you can put your thumbs inside. Oh. My gosh, that feels. Have you not done this before? I have I should, definitely not. Should this we before. probably should have practiced, but hey, I'm doing it. So their tent, they are located. They are located in the big local village tents on Rich Street and Starling Street. So if you guys haven't had a chance to come down to the art festival, you definitely need to check these guys out. They're awesome, and the arts festival will be going on until five o'clock. All right, Karina, back to you. Oh my. 